In this tutorial, we're going to be using the five methods we talked about when defining positions to create the shape that you see in front of you. The first thing we're going to do is get your screen to look like mine. So to get the little dots on there instead of the graph paper, you're going to go to your grid setup, right-click and go to settings, and make sure that your 2D model space box is checked. Then with any drawing, we're going to go up and click on Format, Units. Make sure that the precision is set to two points after the decimal. And make sure your drawing limits are at the default 0, 0, 12, 9. We're also going to change the view settings to zoom all. And now we have our drawing paper in front of you. I want to start off using the absolute entry method, absolute coordinates. So we're going to click on line, and I want it to start right at the origin. So I'm going to type in 0, 0, hit enter, and I want the other part of my line to be at 5.50. I'm going to hit tab to make sure that looks like what it's supposed to look like, and click my left mouse button. I'm going to double check that it did what I wanted it to do. If I look in the bottom left corner, 5.50, it looks good. Next, we're going to try a different type of entry method. We want to use the um, rectangular, I'm sorry, relative rectangular coordinate entry method. So instead of typing in the absolute coordinates, I'm going to type in the at symbol, which is shift 2. I'm going to type in 0, comma, 2.5. So I'm traveling 0 in the x direction, 2.5 in the y direction. And there's my line. Now we're going to use other entry methods as well. So one thing we did yesterday is we used the snap mode. The snap mode is right down here. I want to check the box so it's turned on. And I want to set this to where it goes over 8 and it stays right at 2.5 on the y-axis. So I'm going to watch the numbers in my bottom left corner. And there's 8, 2.5. I'm going to click my left mouse button and that looks good where it's at. Okay, next we're going to use the relative polar coordinate entry method. This is where we're using an angle instead of just um, two different points. So we're going to, we have the line already selected. We're still going to type in our at symbol. We want it to go three as our direction. When I hit tab this time and tell it that I want it to be a 90 degree turn and hit enter. All right, I want it to go backwards 1.5 and up 1. And we're going to use the relative rectangular coordinate entry method to create this as well. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to type in an at symbol. And because we want it to go backwards, we have to say it's a negative x value. We said that was a 1.5, and we're going to hit comma. It's still going up, which is positive in the y. So I'm going to type in 1, and there's our next line. I'm going to move the cursor directly to the left, and I can tell it is because it has the green line that snaps that direction. And I'm just going to type in 6.5 and hit enter. For the very last segment of the sketch, we can just choose to close, which is an option. If you look down here, close is C. You can kind of see it's highlighted in blue. So I'm going to type the letter C and hit enter. And that closes our shape. And I'm going to stop there. And we're going to continue with a creating circles tutorial in just a second.